the peristaltic movement of intestines, digesting, absorbing nutriment. Health depends on the healthy activity of the bowels. The outer wall of the intestines, with blood vessels running into minute branches. A close-up magnified about 100 times. The mucous membrane lining the inner wall it is covered with villi looking like scales overlapping one another. The villi sway gently with the peristaltic motion. A close-up. The intestines absorb nutritive substances through these delicate projections and transport them into the blood vessels. The bowels are inhabited by numerous kinds of bacteria. Normally, they coexist with their host. This is a kind of such bacteria, a swarm of lactobacilli. They also live in the small intestine. The mucous membrane lining the large intestine. This is also inhabited by numerous kinds of bacteria. A swarm of bacilli or rod shaped germs. And these are cocci or spherical germs. They swim about with their flagella. The intestines host many such bacteria, their size ranging from 0.7 to 5 microns. These different kinds of microorganisms compete with one another but maintain a certain balance. In healthy bowels, lactobacilli dominate all other germs. Lactobacilli keep harmful bacteria under control as long as the bowels stay healthy. These are agar-agar culture plates. There are many kinds of lactobacilli which are beneficial to human beings. This species, known as Lactobacillus bulgaricus, ferments milk to yogurt. However, this species is not found in the human intestines. And even if it is taken into the body, it is said to be unable to reach the intestines alive because of the germicidal power of the digestive fluid. This is a Lactobacillus obtained from human intestines. It defends the intestines against harmful bacteria. It is about two microns in length, and here it is magnified 700 times. This lactobacillus, in a culture medium containing sugar, divides once every hour. The time-lapse camera is set for one frame per minute. All lactobacilli turn sugar into lactic acid. Lactobacilli proliferating on a culture plate. 
the plate has turned yellow owing to the lactic acid produced. This culture medium contains a chemical dye which turns yellow when it meets acid. Multiplying on the separate culture plate are pathogenic bacteria. They are magnified 700 times and are photographed at the rate of one frame per minute, as in the case of lactobacilli. They are now dividing once in about 20 minutes. Unlike lactobacilli, this organism grows well in media which are slightly alkaline. The blue color indicates that the medium plate is alkaline. Metabolite produced by lactobacilli is added to this medium where harmful bacteria are proliferating. The medium quickly turns yellow because of the lactic acid in the metabolite. The vigorous division of the noxious bacteria is quickly halted. The germs shrink rapidly and die. Let's repeat this experiment. Death speedily overtakes the harmful bacteria under the action of the metabolite of lactobacilli. This experiment shows relations between the cells forming the wall of the intestines and bacteria. These cells, taken out of the mucous membrane, are kept alive in the culture fluid. One of such cells is made to live together with vicious bacteria. With the motion of the cell surface, germs are drawn closer to the cell. The scene is about 700 times the actual size and is photographed at the speed of one frame every 15 seconds. Presently, the inside of the cell churns. The germs have penetrated the cell membrane. These bacteria, by nature, do not move voluntarily. But they start moving briskly soon after they invade the cell. This is a totally unexpected phenomenon which the film has brought to light. What could this mean? the germs multiply steadily. The speed of the camera remains at one frame every 15 seconds. The harmful bacteria keep increasing around the nucleus in the cell. As the germs increase, the cell is rapidly destroyed and dies. With the death of the cell, the bacteria within stop their motion but keep on multiplying in the carcass of the cell. Let us repeat the experiment. The harmful germs keep proliferating in the devastated cell. 
they will eventually break out of it and spread far and wide. In this new experiment, the cell is made to live with lactobacilli of human origin. These long rod-shaped germs on the nucleus of the cell are lactobacilli. Brought to a focus, we find the lactobacilli only clinging to the surface of the cell. These bacilli do not intrude into the cells, but multiply on the outside, and the cells keep living peacefully. Moreover, the lactobacilli defend the cells of the intestines against the intrusion of pathogenic germs. A group of scientists are giving these useful species of lactobacilli more resistive activity so that they may be introduced into the human intestines alive for the purpose of maintaining healthy functions of the bowels. To fortify them, these lactobacilli are cultivated in strongly acid media in which all intestinal bacteria are normally unable to survive. They have even been passed through the human elementary canal several times. These lactobacilli in adverse circumstances are finding it difficult to grow. But some of them do grow and these are selected and subjected to further tests. Work in this microscopic world requires utmost care and patience. of powerful lactobacilli which have survived long, severe ordeals. The strongest of all is singled out from this colony. This is done by the micromanipulator. This is it. A single lactobacillus chosen after a series of rigorous artificial selections. It was named Lactobacillus Shirota strain after Dr. Minoru Shirota, who succeeded in discovering this very tough strain. It divides once an hour. The Shirota strain adequately retains the functions of turning sugar into lactic acid and checking the growth of noxious bacteria. It has a marvelous vitality, withstanding strongly acid gastric juice and potent germicidal bile. Its remarkable vitality to pass through human digestive fluid intact is now tested. The Shirota strain is raised on a culture plate containing human bile. It continues proliferating energetically in spite of the sterilizing power of the medium. The camera speed is one frame per minute. These are lactobacilli of an ordinary type in the same culture medium. They are obviously finding it impossible to multiply. The camera speed is kept at one frame per minute.
we'll now place the ordinary lactobacilli and Shirota strain on the same culture plate. The ordinary ones are unable to grow, while Shirota strain vigorously multiplies. This test justifies the claim that the Shirota strain reaches the intestines alive, overcoming the germicidal power of gastric juice and bile. It is truly the choicest of all species of lactobacilli selected by scientists through painstaking efforts. It reaches our bowels intact, multiplies vigorously, checks the growth of harmful bacteria and safeguards the health of the bowels. Deep in the intestines, the villi sway gently with the peristaltic movement of the digestive tract. The Shirota strain lactobacilli greatly help and stimulate the vital functions of our intestines. This is a most outstanding scientific achievement.